This is your three minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, February 20th, 2012. This forecast will identify the areas of highest potential fallout concern based on various meteorological resources. In Canada, current radar shows light snow around the cities of Calgary, Red Deer, Regina, and Winnipeg, as well as jet stream overlay. These areas should be considered high risk. Although radar is currently clear in coastal BC, that will change as the week progresses and it will be high risk as well. In the US, the NOAA three-day precipitation forecast targets the Pacific Northwest and upper Midwest as having the highest potential for rain and snow. As the jet stream is currently over a large section of these areas, the following states are at risk for the next 48 hours. Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Northern Utah, including Salt Lake City, Northern Colorado, including Denver and Fort Collins, Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Northern Illinois, Northern Indiana, including Indianapolis, and the areas of Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York adjacent to the Great Lakes. In Europe, current radar and precipitation forecasts from the Weather Channel show the areas of highest concern for Monday to be Scandinavia. England currently has rain, but local sources are not measuring fallout. A new band of water vapor will be pushing through England starting Tuesday and should be treated as high risk until proven otherwise. Nuke Report The NRC event notification website has not been updated since February 17th. There was, however, an unreported incident at the Pilgrim nuclear plant on February the 16th. A relief valve for the Mark I boiling water reactor malfunctioned and vented radioactive steam until it was repaired. This accounts for high CPM readings in that area. A similar valve at the same reactor also malfunctioned on 1227. The Pilgrim facility is located near Cape Cod in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Please visit FukushimaFacts.com for links to the fallout monitors in the U.S. and Europe. Be advised, however, that the sources for information from various government agencies seem to be incomplete and at times highly inaccurate. All these inaccuracies, however, always seem to minimize the seriousness of the radiation problem. I would suggest doing your own research and consider the findings of independent research groups as well. This is also true for Japan. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.